So can you just get, run us through a day in the life of you? What time do you wake up in the morning? What's your first meal? Like, tell us what it, play by play what you do. And we, I'm going to emulate it as best I can. Uh, I'm just curious. You've given us some good stuff, okay. but. All right. Well, what time do you wake up? Not, not every day is perfect. Put it that way. Uh, so I would wake up uh, between 6.30 and 7.30. Um, I do emails for about half an hour while in bed. Uh, texts. Um, I get up. I will, uh, obviously I'll, I'll shower and all that stuff, but then I'll, I'll start my meetings usually around eight. Uh, these are Zoom meetings. I don't have breakfast. I will have a cup of tea or a coffee. Um, I typically also have time to go up and get uh, uh, a spoonful of yogurt with dissolved resveratrol in it. I just mix it up. That or olive oil. I'm, I'm trying olive oil these days. Um, so I've had a tiny bit of, of food, not not a lot. And I'll, I'll just go through. You know, it's pretty busy. As, as you know, when I joined you today, I'm going from meeting to meeting. I'm al already late for my next meeting. Um, so the, I pack it in. I know. I'm sorry. Um, and so I, how much detail do you want? So what, I'll, I'll be on a meeting for. It, it, so much. I want, <laughs> I want a lot of detail. Well, my. I want like as much as you can remember. Goodness. Well, it doesn't all contribute to longevity, I don't think, but there's a fair amount of stress. There's. I don't care. Checking in on how the companies are doing, new results in the lab, uh, hiring new CEOs, um, dealing with. Oh, don't do that. I can't hear you when you touch that. Oh, uh, so, oh yeah. So, where, so a typical day would be uh, dealing with uh, issues in the lab, companies, hiring people, firing people, uh, new results, designing clinical trials, hearing clinical trial results. Um, giving a number of uh, talks. You put, wait, you, you put all of, we, hold on a second. So in the morning you have a scoop of yogurt with either olive oil in it or, res, res, I can never pronounce it, res, resveratrol. I can never pronounce that word. Res Say it, please. Resveratrol. Resveratrol, yes. Okay. You put a scoop, you put a, a teaspoon of either one of it. Right. Well, I'll, I'll start with either yogurt or olive oil and mix resveratrol powder, a gram of that in there. Mix that around and swallow it. Um, and I've been doing that for over 10 years now. Um, and there was a human trial just now that showed that resveratrol was quite effective in preventing metabolic disorders. Uh, so there's that. Uh, I will skip breakfast. I'll skip lunch. It's just a lot of meetings. Uh, and then I'll try to go to the gym or I have weights just behind my chair here that I'll, I'll lift. Um, I try to do a hundred pushups, um, every day and sit ups. And then, uh, at dinner, I'll either go out for dinner and have a, a light meal. It could be a salad with some fish maybe, um, or at home, uh, same thing. But what I'll typically do is have a dinner that's half the size of what you would expect for, for somebody my size. Um, and then, you know, I, I do have wow, a glass so of red wine occasionally too. So that, that, that contributes to the calories. I bet you're, you're not eating breakfast, except that scoop, uh, that teaspoon of yogurt with olive oil. You're not having lunch. So you're really only having a meal, but you take that meal and you cut it basically in half a portion. And then you'll have a, so you're not having very many calories a day. How many calories are you eating a day? I don't know. Um, probably 500 to, to, to a th no, a thousand. I would, I would, but I've been losing weight. Um, I mean, you're really asking me personal stuff, but I've, I've been shedding pounds. I'm down to the weight that I was when I was in my late teens. Now um, there's barely any fat on my body. So I'll probably have to start eating a bit more to maintain that because I've gotten about to the right weight at this point. Um, but yeah, it's been, uh, wow. And that was on purpose, right? You did that. Oh yeah. Oh, definitely. I, I wanted to see my abs again so that I can, I can say hi to my abs finally after a number of decades. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And then on the weekends, do you do the same? Is it the same seven days a week or do you take a break and let yourself go on the weekend or? 
Uh, yeah, I might might eat brunch with friends on a Sunday, uh, go out to dinner for sure, and, and eat a, a relatively healthy meal at a restaurant. I gave up desserts at 40. I don't regret that. Um, but I steal desserts. So right. that doesn't. I saw that in here. That, that's still true. <laughs> um, I did eat a slice of cheesecake the other day. So that's occasionally I give in. I mean, a, a cheesecake once in a while doesn't hurt anybody. Um, and I, I was actually telling a, right. a new friend that I ate a piece of cheesecake. And she said, uh, oh, thank God you're normal. Because she was worried that uh, I was so strict about it. But that's the thing. You don't have to be that strict, I don't think, um, for this all to work. And in fact, if you're too strict, you can't keep it up. No, exactly. And how and how long is each workout? You work out every day or you work out like four times a week? Or what did, you said you work out every day in the yeah, middle of the day. Probably. How long? Every, every other day I do some form of exercise, whether it's uh, weights or cardio or both. Um, mostly I'm doing uh, weightlifting in the gym or here in my bedroom, uh, try to give my big muscles a workout. So my legs and back hip hinge exercises are good for people who sit down all day, uh, like myself. Um, otherwise you end up with this problem that I mentioned. Uh, I run on a treadmill for mm -hmm. only 10 or 15 minutes. I really don't like feeling hypoxia. It's very uncomfortable for me. I don't enjoy running, but I do it a couple of times a week, maybe three times a week because it's good for me. Um, I go for walks. I try to walk a couple of times a week for at least an hour outside. Um, and then in summer, I, I do a lot of kayaking and water sports. So I'm looking forward to that too. Resveratrol.